Oh, hey, you're here. And I see you brought what I asked you to. Come in, come in. Are you alright? <laughs> oh, right. I forgot this is the first time you've actually been in my place when it's not filled with a bunch of screaming students trying to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it does look a little bit different during the day. Anyway, sorry about not answering the door right away. Usually I'm down here, but since everyone else has gone with my parents on their weekend getaway, I've been taking care of everything else in the house. Anyway, my room is just this way. Sorry that I missed you at the party last week. I heard about what happened from Bella. Are you alright? Good. Glad to hear it. If anyone from across the lake tries to bother you again, let me know. Those lowlifes from Silverkeep Counting are known for causing trouble, but up until this point, they've never once showed up to my home before. I'm afraid you're going to have to ask Mari for more details on that one. My reputation precedes me, on the grounds of knowing everyone's business. I know a lot, sure, but definitely not the more intimate details. <laughs> and here we are! <laughs> Thanks, I'm glad you like it too. My parents were a little hesitant when I asked for a canopy bed, for fear that it may look a little childish, but... They came around, eventually, after I threatened to steal my dad's mini furniture collection. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I suppose being a part of the most influential family in Lake Valerie has its perks. <laughs> Including the frilly princess curtain canopy bed, yes. <laughs> well. My family has businesses all across the country. We used to live in Seattle, then LA, then New York, but eventually we came back to Lake Valerie to be closer to our family and friends. It's not efficient, to be sure, but I think being surrounded by the people you love is a lot more important than anything else, don't you agree? <laughs> Aww. You're so sweet. Whilst I appreciate the compliment, I could say the same about you. I was able to look past Mari and Bella's past, but you were able to look past Mari's angst, Bella's eccentricity, and my, well, my pettiness. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really care about where someone comes from, only where they're going. And if where they're going also coincides with where I'm going. Speaking of where I'm going, and my pettiness, that brings me to why I asked you here today. And why I asked you to bring over what you did, yes. Well, a couple days ago, Mari and I were having a little chat. And she told me you wanted a makeover? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Mari's always been one to pin things like that on other people, even though it's what she wants. Anyhow, she probably wanted to watch you get all cute and dolled up, but unfortunately, she's just going to have to miss out this time. Mm -hmm. Mari's actually helping me with something right now, which brings me to the next order of business. My uncle is hosting this event, a gala, if you will, in Silver Keep tonight, and I was wondering if you would be so kind as to do me the favor of being my date? <laughs> Please! I've gone with Sean for as long as I can remember. But since Sean and I are now, well, you know, I don't have anyone else to go with. The rest of my friend group are either busy or going with their own dates. 
Mari would never step foot anywhere near the venue, even if you paid her, and Bella is busy tonight. What? No, 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 you're, you're definitely not my last choice. You're... actually... You were actually the first person I wanted to ask. It just so happens that all my other friends I could have asked were indisposed, so it worked out. But anyhow, that's not important. I just... I feel comfortable around you, which is why I want to go with you. I was... I, I never had any fun at these things when Sean and I went together. Sean also comes from a pretty influential family, and... All he cared about when we attended events like this was showing me off, resorting me to nothing but arm candy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just... This event is really important to me and my family. It's actually a charity gala, and it's one of the few times a year where we actually get to make a difference in the world. I want to actually have fun this time around, and I know I'll be able to do that if I had you by my side. <laughs> I know how that sounds, but I promise it's going to be anything but dull. Besides, you can think of it as our first date. I mean, no offense, but how often can you say that one of your first dates with someone was had a fancy dress ball? I mean... I would like for this to be a date. <laughs> Alright then, it's a date. <laughs> You're seriously so cute when you get flustered. So, are you in? <coughs> Thank you, you're the best. Now then. I'm sure Mari has told you that I'm rather handy with a pair of scissors and some hair dye. Unfortunately for her, she's just going to have to miss the show. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't do anything you don't want me to, but I do want to trim a bit of your hair. You have really nice hair, and it looks like you take care of it pretty well, but you do have some split ends. Would you mind if I trimmed it away for you, just so your hair can grow back a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to trim it a little. We can save the bleach and hair dye for another day. <laughs> okay, great. Let me go grab a towel. Okay, let me just wrap this around you. Perfect. Now, hold still for me, alright? I wouldn't want to accidentally hurt you. Or worse, cut off more than necessary. <laughs> you may think my priorities are a little misaligned, but think about it. Would you really want to show up at your first gala with a bad haircut? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. You normally listen so well, so be good for me and do as I say. <laughs> Would you like me to fix up your bangs? Yeah, we can curl it a bit. Here, let me get this off of you. How long has it been since you've been pampered? Never? I... Well, you're holding very still and being very patient for someone who's never experienced this before, but I would think you and your sister would give each other makeovers sometimes. Ah, I see, that's fair. Well, maybe you could bring her over sometime and I can doll her up. I've been told I'm good at that kind of stuff. Hence why Mari even let me near her hair. Mm -hmm. I like making people feel their best. I don't know why, but I suppose it's because there's this glint in their eyes whenever I finish their hair or makeup. It just 
fills me with a sense of satisfaction whenever I see someone fully love and appreciate how they look. <laughs> I suppose you can think of it like that, but having confidence in yourself isn't necessarily a bad thing. Hair dye and makeup can only go so far if one doesn't have confidence in oneself. Anyhow, I think that should do it for your hair. Do you like it? Really? <laughs> well, if you ever need a dye job, don't hesitate to let me know. I'll be sure to invite the rest of the girls next time, so it won't just be the two of us droning on about morose topics of conversation. You know, Bella is super good with hair, too. Mm-hmm. She actually dyed her own whilst I did Marring's. <laughs> Fine, but you know who to come to if you're ever interested. Anyhow, now that we're done with the hair, I think it's time for you to go get dressed. The bathroom is just that way. Feel free to use anything in there if you need to make yourself look or feel more presentable. I'm going to go pick out what I'm going to wear. On that note, um, would you like to help me pick up my outfit? I, um, admittedly have a lot of clothes, and I've always wanted to do the whole partner picks out your outfit thing. I don't know why, but I think it's very cute. <laughs> no, I never let Sean pick out any of the things I wore. If I had, he would probably have me wearing outfits comparable to the ones drunk celebrities wear in paparazzi photos. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I would rather not show up to school looking like I've been partying all night. So, uh, what do you think? Great. Come to think of it, I'd like to dress you up in some of my clothes. Yeah, I think it could be a lot of fun. You would look absolutely adorable all dolled up for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you would, you absolutely would. <laughs> Alright, enough talk. Let's get to the fun stuff. <laughs>